Hey guys, so you may remember that if we have a disc-like object, like a cylinder or a sphere, and it is moving on a surface while rolling around itself, much like a, a toilet paper if you throw it on the floor would do, um, that motion is called rolling motion. It's got a special name uh, when you have an object on the floor like that. And what's special about it is that it has a both a linear velocity because it's moving, the sensor of mass moves, and a rotational velocity because it spins around itself. It's got two motions, so it has linear kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy. So let's look into that real quick. All right, so as I just said, a wheel-like object rotating and moving around itself is called, uh, this type of motion is called rolling motion. You have a V, um, which is often referred to as the V of the center of mass, and you have a, an omega because you're rolling around yourself, and there are two types of motion here. What's also important about this is that there's a relationship between VCM and W, which is VCM RW, and the R is big R radius. Okay? What that means is that those two variables, V and W, are linked. So if one grows, the other one has to grow by the same amount. Now, it's important to make the distinction that if you have an object uh, that this only happens if you are on a surface, okay? If you have an object that is rolling on air, these two variables, V and W, are not tied to each other. They are not tied, VCM is not tied to W, okay? So basically it means that you cannot use this equation right here, the green equation. This only happens if you're rolling on a surface and if you're rolling without slipping. Lucky for you, all problems in physics, at least for you guys, is going to be rolling without slipping, so you can just assume that to be the case, okay? So, to summarize, if you are rolling on a surface, this equation applies. If you are not rolling on a surface, this equation does not apply. So, if you throw a ball and it rolls on the floor, that would apply. But let's say if you throw a baseball and it's spinning through the air and moving, you cannot say that VCM equals R omega. That equation doesn't work. Cool? That's it. So let's do an example here. I have a solid sphere. This is the type of shape I have. Um, so that's going to tell me the moment of inertia. And I of a solid sphere, I have it here. I of a solid sphere is solid sphere is 2 over 5 mr squared. And I'm told that the, I'm given that the mass is 2, the radius is 0.3. And it rolls without slipping on a horizontal surface. Rolls without slipping on a horizontal surface means that this is called rolling motion. Um, and it means that the green equation is going to work. Okay? I'm going to make this green to match up with the other green up there. With 10. This 10 is my the velocity of the center of mass. Okay? If I tell you an object moves with 10 meters per second, that's the velocity at the middle of the object. And the question here is let's calculate the linear, rotational, and total kinetic energy, okay? Let's find the linear first, we'll plug in the other ones. Linear energy is half mv squared. I got all these numbers, half the mass is a two, the velocity is 10, 10 squared, this will be 100 joules, okay? For kinetic rotational, it's gonna be half i omega squared. I have i, i is gonna be 2 fifths mr squared and I don't have omega but I can get omega because I have a v and these guys are related connected by this equation right here okay so let's do that real quick so vcm equals r omega so um so omega is vcm divided by r vcm is 10 r is 0.3 um so this guy here will be 33, WB33, cool? All right, so I can put W over here. Notice that the two cancels with the two, and then I'm gonna have one over five, the mass is two, the radius is 0.3 squared, and W, which is 10 over 0.3. Now, if you want, what you could also do is instead of writing 33 here, I'm gonna actually gonna write this, right? If you got a calculator, just put the 33, it's faster. 
Um, but I'm going to do 10 over 0.3 squared. And that's because if you notice, this cancels with this. Okay? And then I'm left with 2 times 10 squared, which is 200 divided by 5. Make sure I'm doing this correctly. So we're divided by five. Yep. So this is 40, 40 joules. Okay. And then for the total kinetic energy, for total kinetic energy, we're gonna have kinetic linear plus kinetic rotational, 100 plus 40, 140 joules. All right. So that's linear, rotational, and the total energy. It's got two types of energy, so you add up the linear with the rotational. Notice that they're not necessarily the same. Um, and remember that we can use this equation here because it's rolling on a surface. Cool? That's it for this one. Hopefully it makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions.